I'm Annemarie Dingemans. I'm a pulmonary physician and I'm a professor of thoracic oncology since 2016. The research is about a special type of non-small cell lung cancer. For this type of cancer, which is very rare, we have specific targeted treatments. These are pills, patients take them every day, lead to an enormous response very rapidly on the cancer, and the patients feel better already within one week. With this treatment, now we cannot cure the patients, but we know that half of the patients will still be alive after five years. What is the problem that at the end, all these cancers develop a resistance against the treatment and the resistant disease is very difficult to treat. The research is about using game theory for more personalizing this treatment with at the end having the patient for a longer time on the treatment and hopefully we have a less resistant tumor. Game theory was really new for me. So when Katharina contacted me and explained the type of research she wanted to do, we really had a very good and nice discussions about game theory. And what she explained to me is that we as doctors, we treat cancers a bit in a stupid way. Because we just treat the cancer, see that it's responding, see that the patient recover, and then we wait. We wait till the tumor reacts again or is growing. With game theory, she explained me, we are more in the lead. So we take special tumor characteristics, patient characteristics into account. And with these characteristics, we can model the way how we treat the patients, so probably less uh, frequent or with longer intervals. And then with this individually tailored treatment, so for every patient in a different way, we hope that the tumor will develop less resistant disease and, very important, at a much later time point. So have a longer overall survival at the end for the patients. I think this, this research is really very, very new. This has never been done in lung cancer. So I think with these models, we can have patients for a very long time on this treatment, having better quality of life probably for these patients because when they are less exposed to the drugs they will have less side effects, they will have a longer overall survival and another important side effect of these game theory models is that these drugs are very very expensive. So when we treat these patients with longer intervals we will also decrease the costs. What has been achieved so far is that first we started to learn from each other what type of data are needed and what of type of data we have. So Katharina really spent a lot of time in understanding lung cancer, understanding how we treat these patients and what we achieve with this. Currently there are three PhD students working on this project and one of these PhD students also works here in the Erasmus MC. A C is really the bridge. So I understand more about game theory and what is it about, what type of data they are looking at. And they are understanding the type of data we have, the uh, probably uncertainty about the data and the way how to use these data. I work already as a lung cancer physician since 2005. You're always looking at some challenges, ways to improve outcome, but also for yourself, to challenge yourself and to be exposed to new theories, new models. And TU Delft brings new input. It's a completely different view. It's a very mathematical modeling, but it can be really implemented in daily clinical oncology care.